back to my channel. So we're gonna get started with this eyeshadow called Espresso from the Double Exposure Palette from Smashbox. And I'm gonna be blending this into my crease. And then after that, we're gonna be taking the Smashbox Double Exposure Brush and we're gonna be dipping this brush into water and going into the color Peony. And this is really gonna make the eyeshadow pop. The cool thing about this palette is that you could use every single eyeshadow with water. So it's either gonna amp up the vibrancy, get it deeper, or either turn it into metallic or just adds more sparkle into the shadow. So now dipping the brush again into water, we're gonna go into the color Mauve, which is a really pretty plum color. And we're gonna be popping this on the outer part of our eye going midway through our eyelid and then after that we're gonna flip the brush and we're gonna start blending the two eyeshadows but with no product on it so we're just blending it and now grabbing the Sigma E25 we're gonna dip it into some water and grab the color temper and we're gonna be blending this into our crease I did find that the matte shadows were a little bit more harder to blend so I don't recommend the matte shadows being used with water but still nonetheless they could be blended it just takes a little bit of more time to blend those shadows out. Now dipping the Sigma E55, we're going to go into the color called Quartz, which is such a gorgeous color and I wish I could have used this one for all over the lid, but it all works out. I got to use it, so that's what matters, but it's, isn't it just a gorgeous color, you guys? But after that, you want to grab a blending brush again and just blend everything out. Next, going into the shadow called Veiled with no water in it, I'm just going to be using this as my brow highlight. And of course, don't forget to blend everything out again. After that, we're going to move on to our eyeliner. So I'm using Sigma's Wicked Gel Liner. And let me know by giving this video a huge thumbs up if you guys would like for me to do an updated eyeliner routine video. Because I have changed up the way I've done it and a lot of you have kept asking me about it. So just let me know if you guys would want me to do that and I'll gladly record that video for you guys. So yeah, after that we're going to be coating our lashes with the full exposure mascara that comes with the palette. And this is just really going to help our lashes be prepared for our falsies. And the falsies that I'm using today are from Coco Lashes. These are called Soko, which I highly recommend to any beginners because they're so lightweight and yet look very very glamorous and just so beautiful. So after that we're going to move on to our face. I'm using the Smashbox Photos Finish Water Primer, which I highly recommend to everybody. I've been obsessed with it ever since I bought it. I can't stop using it and then for my foundation I'm using the Frankie Rose matte perfection foundation but for some reason my camera got cut off so I was only able to catch up until where I was applying my concealer so after you're done putting on your concealer we're gonna move on to our back to the eyes so I'm dipping my brush again into the water and I'm grabbing the color called temper I'm going to be applying this on my lower lash line but I did notice that it was kind of leaving a harsh line so after I was done applying that, I took the brush and wiped off the excess that I had on the brush in the back of my hand and then went back into my eyes and just blended it out. I didn't go back and grab any more product, I just kind of blended out what I was working with. So that's what I pretty much did. And then next, I went back with my mascara just to apply a few coats to my bottom lashes. And then after you're done with that, we're going to move on back to our face because we're done with the eyes. So I'm going to begin by setting everything with the Kat Von D shade and light palette with the shade called Igrig. And yeah, just pretty much setting everywhere where I apply my concealer and my T-zone. And then I'm going to go in with shadow play just to bronze up the face and kind of slash contour at the same time. So I'm using this with the Zoeva 128 brush and I'm also applying a little bit on my nose just because I want my nose to have a little bit of definition. And then for my blush, I'm using Becca Damsey Fly, just applying this on the apples of my cheeks just a little bit and then blending everything out. For the lips, I'm going to be using Frankie Rose Apricot, which is a really nude color, which I have been obsessed with. Um, and I'm also going to top it off with their lip gloss, which is called Sugar. So after that, once you're done applying that, we are all done with this makeup tutorial. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I was tagged by my friend Ready Say Glamour here on YouTube to create a tutorial using this palette. So if you own it, I also tag you to create another tutorial using it. And if you don't, I'll have a link down below of where you can get it. But with that, my loves, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye!
Oh, 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 oh,